184 new cases of COVID-19 confirmed today in the state of Hawaii. Now, most of them are on Oahu, but Maui, Kauai, and the Big Island all had new cases today. The cluster at Oahu Community Correctional Center continues to grow with 42 more inmates and nine more staff testing positive. Of the total 4,800 cases the state has had since the start of the pandemic, nearly 3,000 are active. Lieutenant Governor Josh Green says he's not surprised, but warns that Honolulu is likely headed for another shutdown as early as this week. Jim Beniza reports. Lieutenant Governor Josh Green says that Honolulu is in a place where a tough decision has to be made. While he knows that another stay-at-home order would have economic repercussions, he says losing thousands of lives and having to turn sick patients away from a hospital would be much worse. Cases of COVID-19 continue to soar in the triple digits the last two weeks, surpassing the 200 mark consistently in recent days. Those cases are surging at the hospitals as we speak. We also have a surging number of cases at the prison, and that's going to necessitate a lot more care in the coming days, too. Lieutenant Governor Josh Green says if we don't act now, the situation will spiral out of control. We're going to quickly reach a threshold where we won't be able to take care of all of our patients if we allow day after day the number to be over 250. At that rate, Green says we could have 6,000 active cases within a month. The goal is to drop that number to under 100. And the only way I can envision getting our numbers down to 100 will be a, a stay-at-home order for 30 days. He says that could happen as early as this week. That may be what we need from a health care standpoint. So if the governor and the mayor make that decision, it will be made uh, to save lives. Not everyone is in favor of shutting down. What do you say to those that would say it's an overreaction? I'd say that... Uh, I can't allow 4,000 people to die on my watch. And that's what would happen if we let COVID roll over Hawaii completely. The last thing he wants to do is turn someone away from the hospital who needs care because they don't have any room available. Green says that there will likely be more stops and starts through the end of the year, or at least until there's a vaccine. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.